It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the New York Giants. All that and more coming up next. We are situated about eight miles west of New York City at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Today, longtime foes square off in the NFC East as it will be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the New York Giants. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles kickoff moments away. Quickly, what are you watching in this one? The offensive line for both teams, because both teams have a terrific pass rush. They've got to keep their passers upright. If they have a chance to do that, they can both thrive on offense and move the ball downfield. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from MetLife Stadium. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. Now leading them out, someone who's forged an excellent career as a six-round pick way back in 2011. From Virginia Tech, Tyrod Taylor. One of the classiest quarterbacks in the NFL and always in a difficult position because he has the skills to be a starter, but there's usually a youngster behind him that they're grooming and they want on the field. But when given an opportunity to be the guy, he's led teams to the playoffs and he's also gone to the Pro Bowl. A great combination of arm and legs, not to mention a brilliant mind. Taylor, a short one here, secured by the tight end Waller. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A good start offensively. 15 yards on the game's initial play. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. On first down, it's Taylor. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Well, Charles, look, and this is probably a harbinger of things to come. He's got such trust in his tight end, and they're on back-to-back -back plays. We're seeing that on display. And when they have that kind of trust, they're not as worried about what the coverage is because they feel like they know each other so well. They'll make the subtle move downfield, and the ball will end up in the right spot. And by the way, Father, what's harbinger mean? Help me out. Well, you're the one that taught me that a few years ago, so I'll have to lean on you for that. I'm just, I'm just hoping it fit into the sentence correctly. I must have got it from my word of the day calendar on my desk. They'll run for the first time with Saquon Barkley. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. Filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Now Taylor to throw on second down. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Another good completion on the drive as the Giants have a first down. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical that it'd be this easy, but they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. Team after a gain of 15. First and 10. The impressive. 
impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play and it's second down. They'll go to Barkley again. And he takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. Play number nine now on this pretty long opening drive, but this is third down. Taylor will throw. Flush to his right, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Hassan Reddick drops him for a loss of 14 yards, and it also brings up fourth down. It brings up how teams are so competitively matched, and you just want to make those plays that give you an advantage. How about right here? The difference between letting them score a touchdown versus holding them to a field goal? That's absolutely huge with the play he just made. And you know he hated taking the loss there on third down. Cade York on now for the field goal. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. York able to send this one through. And the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. Even though they didn't find the end zone, they have to be pretty pleased with how they moved the ball on the ground because we know that that was one of their big goals in this game. And that really goes through the entire offense because when you're running the ball effectively, just about everyone's involved. It's not just the guy carrying the football. It's everyone blocking for him, both inside and on the perimeter. He sends this one away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by someone who has proved doubters wrong his entire career. MVP runner-up a season ago, Jalen Hurts. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. But well, certainly as a fan, you get a little bit nervous when you see him make those kind of throws. But they work on that in practice more than we know. And most of them now know their limits and know what they can get away with. And there's a completion right there. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. Only three there on the screen at second down. Boy, that was certainly well read defensively. And the key to any screenplay is space to work. And there was none to be found there. And they tackle him for just a short gain. Second and seven. Play action. Here's Hertz. And he bats it away and it falls down in complete. So many times defensive backs get caught playing the man rather than the football, but not in this case. That's an excellent play. Did exactly what you're supposed to do. Attack the football and help break up the pass. And yep, as a result, knocks it down. Hurts. And they stop him up short of the first down as they get him at about the 43. 
Five yards, and that means they come up short as they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive. Out now is the punter, Braden Mann. And back deep, Gunnar Olszewski. But he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And this will be taken at the 13. A very nice job on the run back there. He'll get 23 yards all told. And it'll be Giant football first and 10. So the Giants getting the football back here for their second drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Now Taylor. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit. We decided not to throw it on first down. I give them credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short. So that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. An excellent run of 22 yards on the keeper and also a first down. And this, I mean, it's certainly something to watch out for. He is not afraid to call his own number on plays like that. And here he takes it for good yardage. And we know this defense prepared all week for this, but sometimes when you see it in person, it's a whole different ball game, and all that preparation, it goes right out the window. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Buried for the sack by big Jalen Carter. Hindsight is 20-20, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again? Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. Now Taylor. Finding Sterling Shepard for his first catch. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. Third and two. They'll try to run for it with Barkley. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Taylor. And he's caught. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. I didn't like the play call. I loved it. Running situation for sure on fourth and short. They got the defense to commit too many men in the box to stop the run and have the guts to go for the pass instead. And as a result, they're set up first to goal. Now Taylor to throw. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Tyron Taylor taking it in from a yard out as his guys are able to extend their lead. That was not a designed run. It was supposed to be a pass, but it turned into an exceptional run. What a scramble for a touchdown. Now Cade York for the extra point. He's got it, and now it's a 10-0 lead here in the opening quarter. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was capped off by a Tyrod Taylor touchdown run. So 
So an early 10-0 lead for them now as they kick it away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. They look to get something started. They need to, down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. Throwing his hurts. But it's caught on the right side at Smith. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Flushed out right. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. On first and 10, it's Hurts. He's got Smith here, and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 38. First carry for DeAndre Swift. There he goes, left side. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Now, hang on here, because DeAndre Swift injured on that last play and in need of a little assistance. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Gainwell gets it on the option. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. The first drive this unit had, they punted. This drive much more polished, just looking crisper, aren't they? Moving the ball. Maybe the first drive was a little bit of a wake-up call. Probably a little bit angry that they had to punt the ball away the first time they had it. Got motivated, got to the sideline, said, okay, let's not let that happen here as we take over again. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. Gainwell. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Nothing to score after one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. This is third and goal, and this Giants defense, they have withstood the test thus far. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. 
Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles have got it back to within a score. We always admire a guy who can go through his progressions and find the open receiver. I believe we just saw that there. And we admire him just a little bit more when it goes for a touchdown. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. That time, a nine-play drive. And it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn it into a play action, and throw one deep. Now Taylor on first down. He's got Slayton on the slant. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. They'll give it to Barkley off the option play. And Saquon going to have a Giants first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. A first down carry for Barkley. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Well, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync. And the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Now second and five. Again, it's Barkley. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Third and three. To throw is Taylor. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. Now he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down inbounds, toe-tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. A nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. That's multiple times now. He's tagged them with a big gain with his legs. Really showing off some nice awareness and the ability to correctly realize when he's got a chance to tuck it and go himself. Barkley inside handoff. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And they'll come up second and seven. Up the middle with Barkley. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down.
Taylor. And the work is near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Taylor able to use those legs of his to pick up a first. He's been making himself a weapon as a runner, and the results, they've been welcomed by his offense. My question is about the defense we're watching right now, partner. Even after he got him with a scramble earlier this drive, they still aren't devoting enough attention to him. I would expect that after that carry, they'll do a much better job going forward, spying on him on passing downs. They'll try and run forward with Barkley. And Closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four yard line. Second and goal from inside the five. Barkley again. And not a whole lot there as he'll get him down at about the two. They give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. This is kind of one of those in-between plays here, Charles, on third and goal from the two or the three in that area. What do you dial up? Something quick hitting. You don't have the time for something that develops slowly. It's got to be right at them if you're going to run the football. And if you're going to throw it, something quick, get it out of your hands in a hurry. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. A tough time to take the sack. Now it's fourth and goal, and that's a loss of six. So, Charles, no turnovers yet for this offense, but those sacks now, they're starting to pile up. And one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball downfield. That drive took him inside the 10. Good job defensively to hold him to three. Yeah, I like how you did that. Give a little tip of the cap to the stop troops there because they didn't give up a touchdown in that situation, right? Made them kick the field goal. And yeah, points went against them, but that feels a whole lot better running off the field. He sends this one away. And the drive will begin at the 25 as Scott is going to stay in the end zone. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. I think he gets a mulligan there carrying the ball because he had no shot, and that's why it went backwards. I still remember in the summer, we were at one of the training camps. You were marveling about how much those defensive tackles eat. I think he just inhaled a running back on that play. Hurt sets up to throw it. Complete to Zacchaeus. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Here's Hertz to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end, and he'll be taken down but not before they work it across midfield. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds him for the first down. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. But depending on the team, they call that an explosive play or a chunk play, the one that they got on the previous one. 
They tried to go back and get another one, didn't they? They did, but unsuccessful on that second attempt. Second and ten. Off the play fake. Here's Hertz. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. The offense on third down, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and seven. They go play action with Hurts. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Kayvon Thibodeau, he beat the old line and recorded the sack. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. Here's Braden Mann now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. They'll throw on first down with Taylor. To Shepard, complete over the middle. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And now at this point in the first half, you've got to realize as an offense, you're not going to get it all back in one fell swoop. This is going to be about sustained drives and making sure you finish with points. And that's a good throw there for a first down. Meanwhile, a throw by Taylor is incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Taylor incomplete on first down. Here's second and ten. He'll look to throw. scrambling there 12 yards first down fast slow it doesn't matter if you give a quarterback enough room to escape he can hit you for a big game you've got to give him a little more focus moving forward a handoff to Barkley and nothing much materializing there on the first down run he'll get a couple and that's it well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Now Taylor to throw on second down. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. On third down, Taylor. Short throw, going to be caught by Waller. And a nice job there defensively. They get him to the ground short of the first, right around the 42. It'll be a gain of five. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. That's a double win there, partner. You keep out of the return man's hands and you pin him inside the five yard line. Pretty darn good. First and ten, and Swift. 
This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. And that run there does nothing but juice up the guys who are moving the football. I mean, if you're an offensive lineman, people running it, actually the guy calling plays, you're almost jumping up and down jubilation, aren't you? Yeah, now you've got options on second down. And big-time options. You might want to think about play action and try and get something cheap right here over the top. Zacchaeus here hauling it in. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. But first down, Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is that right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. They'll throw now on the final play. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. So we've reached halftime here at MetLife Stadium with the Giants out in front. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be the most disciplined team going forward. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. It's the Eagles ready to see the football first, and they trail here as we resume action in this third quarter. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Out come the Eagles now as he'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. Well, out of the locker rooms, here they come. Their first drive of the third quarter, and Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, but we got a tight one and set up to be a very entertaining second half. And as we know, partner, in the NFL, there's trailing and there's trailing, right? Sometimes you're discouraged by how much you're down, but in this case, this is a tight ball game, so there's a sense of optimism here. I think they went into half and looked at their play sheet and said, these are the plays we really like. What do you say we use them to start the second half and get us going? Kayvon Thibodeau picks up his second sack of the afternoon. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. A throw over the middle, take it in. That'll go for a gain of seven. And it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Hurts. He's got his target. That's complete. And yeah, he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. It's pretty evident that this passing game has been frustrated so far. They haven't really moved the ball the way we might have expected, but this is a good pickup here for the first down.
Swift going to try up the middle. Taken down at the 47-yard line. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From the 47 now, they'll work with a second and seven. He'll drop to throw. He completes it to Julio Jones. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 35. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. And until that point, we haven't seen Julio Jones. That's hard to believe here this late in the game. And no one more frustrated than Julio Jones because receivers feed off of catches. That's their fuel, and that's also their affirmation. And he hasn't been getting much of that in this game, and their team is losing, and he wants to have a better effect on the game. Just the first connection, Ryan to Jones there. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys free. They have, you're right, they have had no room to breathe. Throwing his hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Dallas Goddard, 35 yards. And the Eagles have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead. And that drive we just saw that culminated in a touchdown, exactly what many offenses are looking for. Sustained ones that can impose their will on the other team. Elliott now to add the extra point. And this puts him on top by a penny. It's 14-13. So this drive spans seven plays. And the drive was all finished off on the touchdown catch by Dallas Goddard. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side, trying to match each other. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 to mark him down at the 39. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. From the shotgun, it's Taylor. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Looked at me like they adopted what my kindergarten teacher always said. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. And finally, able to hold him in check. He'd been carving him up running the ball. That's the first time I think I've seen where the coverage was good downfield and they accounted for him and stopped him for a short pickup. Yeah, I don't think it was a big adjustment, but much more emphasis on making sure they knew where he was when he decided to take off and go. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Here's Taylor. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. Certainly a rarity for all but an elite couple of quarterbacks in this league to have a 100-yard day on the ground. Heck, even running backs don't hit the mark as often as they used to. 
Nice to see them keep calling his number once they saw he was in line for a special game. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 36. And Taylor's throw there should have been intercepted, but it's incomplete. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. Taylor incomplete on first down. Here's second and 10. Here's a give to Barkley. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles 28. 67 yards rushing for him now to this point. They've been running it well all game, and why not? The big guys up front, they're just having a ball, creating monster holes for their guys to run through. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. They'll run it again with Barkley. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. And partner, when you run the ball on third and two, you're telling the whole world you've got nothing but confidence in your offensive line and your runner, and you expect to get it. But they were stuffed on that play. Only got one yard. Great job by the defensive front, the linebackers. Everyone got involved to force a fourth down. The field goal unit's going to stay put on the sideline. They're going to go on fourth down here. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. The Giants go on fourth, but come up empty. And the Eagles defense able to hold. And you wonder, Charles, could that decision come back to haunt them later? And it really could, because in this situation, you kick the field goal in a tight game like this, that's a good play. Yeah. But maybe what he's saying to himself is, I'm just not a big proponent of the old idea that any possession that ends in a kick, I'm happy with. He wanted to be really aggressive. A little twist here in the third quarter. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 27. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. Partner, the Mike linebacker, the middle linebacker, has so many different responsibilities. How excited do you think he was to get home with that blitz? Yeah, he wants a sack. He got it. On second down, Swift. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a game of three. If you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take on extra blocks, and actually slip them and make a tackle on that play. That's big time. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36 yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And they will take over first and 10. start out on the ground it's Saquon Barkley escapes the defender yeah so they get that one Charles on the right tackle the yeah, oftentimes in that spot you're trying to work against a defender trying to set the edge in the running game and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. From the gun, it's Taylor. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. 
It'll be a gain of nine, and it's second down. I just make this one simple. Could he be any more open than he was on that play? Yeah, they lost him going to the outside. Hard to believe because you go through your accounting on each and every defensive snap. Who's got who? What, what defense you're in? That was totally a blown call. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. They get to him for a loss of four, and it brings up third down on the sack. And, of course, that's not an easy man to sack. You know how elusive he can be trying to get outside of the pocket. That was a great play on the defensive side. And I wonder what was going through his mind because he didn't seem as committed to using his legs to pick up yardage. He wanted to keep that play alive to either take off and go or throw it away. But he held on to the football and ended up getting sacked. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on second down, talk about throwing a wrench into the works. It certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. Here's Jamie Gillen now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. This will be fielded at the 17. It'll be a 44-yard punt. The return goes for eight. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. They'll start on the ground with Swift. A nice little, and shouting him off down off the field. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Uh, hang on a second here, because on that last play, it appears one of the Giants shaken up. We'll get an update when we return to MetLife Stadium. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Hurt's going to keep it running right. Oh, look at the juke. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball. But the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big time play by the defense. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Hurt sets up to throw it. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. We have so many different terms for third down, third and short, third and long, third and manageable. How about third and medium? Because that's what this one was. The defense looked like they had him hemmed in, but he gets away, evades the rush, and picks up just enough for the first down. And they'll fake it there on the jet sweep, and instead, here's Swift. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second down and a little more than a yard here. 
They'll look to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. That good for six as they keep this drive right on rolling. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and ten here. All the option to give to Swift here. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instinct, being able to diagnose runner pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. And that one knocked away and incomplete. Nice job defensively on what will be the final play of the third quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back now here in East Rutherford. This one's still anybody's ball game. It's a one-point difference here as we begin the fourth quarter of play. The Eagles on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This is third and eight. Here's Hurts to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Eagles are gonna have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice game. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now flags come in here. Looked like one of the Eagles might have moved. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. The situation changes a bit now. First and goal from back at the 10. Back to the running game with Swift. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift. A 10-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Elliott on for the extra point. And with that, the lead is up to eight. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it was finished off with a 10-yard touchdown scamper. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. And New York set to take the field. Still plenty of time here in the fourth quarter. In just a one possession game, down eight. They'll be looking for the touchdown and two-point conversion. A field goal here on this drive does very little at this stage. They begin with a run by Barkley. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Shepard will go in motion right. 
Running again with Barkley on second down. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. 80 yards rushing now for Barkley. It's a first down. situation comes up I'm thinking hard about going for it right here and right now a first down run from Barkley pretty well defended give him three yards on the play here's second and seven they'll go to Barkley again and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Well, that play was over before it even got started. Thanks for nothing, huh? How about that? That sets up a very difficult third down call now. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. To throw is Taylor. And he has another first down. They'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 34-yard line. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. If they get a game-changing score on this drive, it's going to be because of plays like that. That run was pure heart. Took it himself. Found a way to reset the downs and advance the ball. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Now Saquon Barkley, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. And not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Now second and eight at the 32-yard line. On the run, it's Barkley. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. That had to be a nightmare as a ball carrier. You look up and see his big bear claws coming at you right away. No chance. <laughs> and just think how the game it continues to evolve. We always worried about the defensive ends and the outside linebackers bringing pressure. How about the play now? It's not just eating. And he can't find a receiver. Brought down. And that'll bring up fourth down on the big sack with a loss of five. It has been a rough afternoon for him trying to get rid of the football. See, that's now five sacks. How'd you like to be the offensive coordinator, the offensive line coach trying to come up with an answer for this pass rush? What blocking assignments do you change? Can guys play a little bit better? And we're seeing the end result on the scoreboard. Long day in the pocket for their quarterback. Yeah, 55 yards is anything but a gimme. You've got to really concentrate on your leg swing and proper technique. This time, though, he's unable to convert. And out now come the Eagles. And they enjoy this fourth quarter lead, starting out first and 10 now following the missed field goal. This is Swift on the counter. And good vision there as he's across midfield and down to the 45-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 to start the drive out by a few inches. That'll be a first down. Give every member of that unit a ton of credit for ripping off such a big gain there because you don't get free for that many yards on a counter or misdirection without everybody selling the heck out of it. First down, and they go with Swift again. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. 
of a tackle there by Micah McFadden. They work now on second and nine. Back to throw here. Quick slant to Brown. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 28. That one good for 16 as the drive continues. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air, even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Looking for A.J. Brown again, and he's got it again. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Was that a design pass, or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. They'll drop to throw. Touchdown! DeAndre Swift. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Eagles have opened up a two-touchdown lead here in this fourth quarter. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead is up to 15 now. So the drive there took six plays. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Paris Campbell now on the return. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Giants going to take over again on offense. And the way their last drive ended, boy, it was frustrating. They had a pretty good drive going. It was sustained, and then it stalled out, Charles, and they missed the field goal and got nothing out of it. Is that insult to injury? Because they had such a sustained drive, as you noted, so you know for the head coach, it almost felt like a little bit of failure to send out the field goal unit and then to not even see the ball go through the post. What a bummer on that last drive for them. Got to pick themselves up from that one. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Now they may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Taylor. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked off by Hassan Reddick. And the Eagles are going to have the short field here as they'll take over right at the 50. If they had designs of kind of wiggling their way back into this one, that hurts their chances right there. They had to put it mildly. We look at the lead, look at the deficit, trying to make a play downfield. Everyone seeking to be somewhat the hero. Didn't turn out that way at all, and you're exactly right. It's going to take a lot for them to have a chance to win this one now. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. 
From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And that's out to the flat for Swift. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. Brings up second and four at the Giants' 44-yard line. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And his throw here's incomplete. That ball was tipped in the air, and while it ultimately fell incomplete, it caused a few anxious moments for the guy slinging it, who's had quite a day. He knows how to get it into the end zone. He's throwing it really, really well. And maybe Lady Luck is on his side because he avoided his first interception of the contest. From the gun, it's Hurts. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? Here's a handoff to Swift. Swift finishing strong with three fourth quarter touchdowns and the Eagles have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter so an important touchdown right there is now they're really beginning to pull away yeah this was a tight game until not too long ago but since then they've hit the accelerator and they pushed the lead up to three scores here in the fourth quarter and I don't see them looking back Elliot now to add the extra point And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. Just a four-play drive that time. And a long run there in the end to top it off. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The possession switching back to the New York Giants. shake off the interception he'll look to throw and he'll be hit as he releases it and that'll fall incomplete they lead big and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half no points allowed since the break and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest second and ten it's Taylor again a short throw pulled in by Bellinger. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That's a gain of seven. Brings up third and three. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. They'll come up now third and three. Now Taylor. Pressure comes, and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Brandon Graham applied the heat off the edge. Well, collectively as a defense, Charles, I think if you get four sacks a game, you're feeling really good. Now they have six as a unit. And that type of a number, it's just staggering because there's so many ways to try and counteract it. But in this case, 
They've got no answers for this unrelenting pressure coming at their quarterback. Taylor, pass to the sideline and pulled in. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. He stopped to get it done, as you noted, and they did. Throwing now, Taylor on first down. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. It'll only be a loss of a couple, but the pressure gets home on first down. He's certainly one of those quarterbacks that can burn you with his mobility, but that time able to hem him in and get him to the ground. Perfect descriptor right there about how they kept him in the pocket. Excellent job of containment, but they were still able to continue to bring such strong pressure without letting him escape. But how about those guys in the secondary as well? Kept the coverage tight, plastered to the receivers, and left no real options for him to throw it downfield. On first and 10, it's Taylor. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him, and after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Taylor incomplete on first down. Here's second and ten. They'll set up a throw. And he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. I think this is what this game's become now. Just go deep, see if we can get something to go our way. Yeah, not the most creative or most inventive play call there, but not much has worked for them throughout this game. They're almost at a loss about what to dial up. On third down, Taylor. That's to the sideline and incomplete. Another pass attempt, another incompletion, and they're just a little over 100 yards passing here in this game, so defensively, pretty good job. Definitely, because they were never really able to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, so a lot of credit to the defensive game plan and especially the execution. Here we go. It's Taylor on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and this 10-play drive winds up yielding nothing. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Well, somebody lit a fire under that offense during the break, Charles. Remember, they trailed at intermission. They come out, they have the big second half, and that lifts them to the victory. And Brandon, trailing at halftime, we always talk about teams making adjustments. You know what the best adjustments usually are? It's just executing better. Because the game plan you put in place at the beginning of the week often still holds. You don't have to make wholesale changes. You just have to do it a little bit better, a little cleaner. And they did that in the second half, and that led them to victory. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long from MetLife Stadium.